Shaper 1000 here. Today we're going to be making this star look real pretty on this tree that we made yesterday. So stick around. Let's do this together. For those of you that missed it or this is your first time watching, I did a live stream yesterday. It was a two hour live stream of building this Christmas tree. And um, it's not quite finished, but we stopped because you kind of get the idea. We made this little star out of a nut and a couple pieces of metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this star with some fancy bling stuff we got here um, some of these little diamonds these little fake diamonds I got my glue gun up here well monkey's glue gun and I've got I've got these fairy lights now I want to be taking the diamond things off of them because I think they will just look too gaudy on there. So, yes, these are called fairy lights. We're going to be taking those white things off of it. And let's go ahead and let's see if this works, okay? Let me get you down here a little bit. And we'll put some batteries in here and make sure they work. I'm sure I've tested this before. And I believe they work. go seem lit up there okay so yeah we're gonna be taking them because they're just too big for that tree you know on there so I'll be taking these off these actually came from Target though we didn't buy them there we had a bulk monkey ordered a bulk package a year or two ago and it was one of the things in it so we're just but we're just going to be using the lights now they don't do anything special they don't flash they just stay on so but that'll be fine because i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to the very last light on this end wherever it's at let's see whoa hands aren't working right today so this very last light here i think what i'll do is that'll go up in the center in the center of our of our little uh, tree topper there I will go ahead right now I'm gonna let's see how these things can come off of here these things just lay around on a table or something but I need to see if I may have to clip yeah see I mean I kinda like these things but I don't know if I can they're like twisted around here get them all untwisted here and where I put my glasses here alright I don't want to break any of these wires but they just got them twisted around here so what we're going to do is I'm going to untwist those and take these off every one of them and we're just going to use the lights and we're just going to put them up inside there I think it'll look nice so while I'm doing this guys I'm going to throw in a couple uh, a couple clips of building this thing so if you didn't see it you can kind of get an idea of what we did yesterday like I said it was a live stream it was two hours of course I'm not going to put it all in there I'll just throw a couple clips in for you and then I'll save these for another project which that probably would have looked good on top of that Christmas tree I could probably change that, but I'm not going to now because <laughs> we spent some time doing that. So anyway, here's a couple clips of the tree being built, and I'm going to go ahead and unwind these. Okay, so 
just gonna take one of these things. I'm trying to do this kind of behind the camera so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing here. I may have to heat this. And I'm gonna try to get it spun around here the best I can to get kind of like this this shape going here. See it's kind of wobbly there. So now I'm just going to well, thank you, Vic. I hope it does. So, and then we'll just like, once I get it bent around here the way I want it, because what I'm going to do is once I get this bent around and in the shape that I want it, I'm going to put uh, garland on it. So that way, it'll cover most of this up. That's why I'll need the hot glue. Or that one now. Sorry, right. I can grind that off. That's not going to be seen. Oh, that's even worse than that. Set this down on the bench. There's our crepe tree. Like I said, if I had the hot glue, it'd take longer, but it would look nicer. get the idea.
And there's our Christmas tree, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, if you hear some people talking in the background, Monkey and her mother are doing a, uh, they're making butter torts. So be sure to check her channel out to get that recipe. Now, what, what I'm going to do here, I'll show you, I'll do the first one, and then I will, uh, I'm just going to put a little hot glue on here. I got my glue gun set on low here, so, because if you set this thing up to high, it'll burn the hell out of you. So, I got this piece cut off here, and I'm just going to, just stick it on here like this. Like I said, you can paint these stars or or whatever if you make one like this. Uh, see, I probably don't need that top one on there. It'll fit. Scoot that up a little bit. That glue is all already cooling, so I may have to turn that glue up a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Also, let's um, let's scrape this here. I guess I will put it on high. It's got a high and low switch there. This is monkey's glue gun. Now my glue gun, it doesn't have a. It does not have a high and low. It's just high, and and if you leave it on for. 15 20 minutes I'm telling you what it gets super <coughs> excuse me super duper hot I'm just gonna glue those on there and I'm gonna do that all the way around there on all them and then we'll put the lights on but I'll just go ahead and I will speed you up okay so let's get you down here where you can see like I said I'll I'll do this and fast forward so it's not that boring
So there's that. Now remember, we're going to have a little light inside there. So there's our little blingy star. So hopefully when the light gets in there, it'll get around these fake diamonds and whatnot. And uh, maybe make it glisten a little more. I hate these stringy things from the hot glue. So now let's put our lights in there and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go up through the bottom but I'm gonna start at the top and then I'm just gonna inside there on them wires I'll hot glue it or whatever I gotta do hopefully it'll shine through so let me get set up for that for you guys okay guys so now I want to try to get this up through the top here that's gonna be kind of hard to do because I I can't see up inside there but there is plenty of room like I said this is not really how to this is just what I'm doing so and I should be able to get it right up through the back here there we go there it comes came right out the front but I don't want it out the front I want it to come up through the back there it is now Okay, so now I want to put some hot glue in there. This is like real hard wire too, so you could wrap it around there. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to just put some hot glue right in there. And, and that light should shine around that glue. So let me, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I know you guys can't see real well, but... I'm going to kind of stick it up in there like that. I'll show you here in a second. Come on, focus. Too much glare. I'm just going to stick that right. I got it bent in an L shape. Come on, focus. Anyway, it's going to go right up in there. We turn it a little bit just like that so it's going to be right up in the front see right there in the center of that that's our light so I'm going to go ahead and put a little hot glue there and burn the hell out of my thumb while I'm at it and I'm just going to hold that for a minute while that while that glue dries A little piece of that coming off. Alright, now what we're going to do is wonder if I should cut that top off, that one. Alright, anyway so now what I'm going to do is up inside of here I'll turn these lights on so you can see there's our there's our little light see these lights that's why I have this light out here let me uh, let me shut the big lights off and I'll show you maybe you can see inside there and once I get sorry once I get them up they're closer See, you'll be able to see them a lot better. Where you at? See? So, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring them up and down them, them splines right here. These splines you're seeing here. Up and down them, and I'm going to bring them out close so you'll be able to see them. So that's what I'm going to do there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll bring you back with me when I'm done. And this, our little controller is going to go, of course, up inside there, so it'll be hidden. So, there we go. I'll be right back with you guys. So it should be, should look pretty cool. I like that. See the star, our little star we made? So there we go. So let me get these up in there and we'll turn it on and we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, there's our tree all done. Now, I'm gonna go hit the lights. <coughs> Excuse me. I know you can't see anything, but hang tight. I got my, I got two necklaces on now. I got monkeys and mine on. Feeling a little festive. Now, I'm gonna reach right up underneath here and I'm gonna click our light on. And there we go. There's our little Christmas tree. Homemade. Now you can, uh, you know, get them lights however you want them. Um, I just kinda wrapped them around in there, but there you go, that's better. And our little our little star up there nice and bright get you zoomed in a little bit on that hell I didn't know you was already zoomed in but and as you can see it's some of my necklace is glistening off of that but it does uh looks pretty good for just a bunch of junk we had laying around back you out now and there it is there is the tree all done. I thought that's better than painting it and I thought those lights would just be perfect and I, I think they are. They're just battery powered, three uh, AA batteries. And there it is. So, let's get lights back on, get you turned back on and we'll talk for a minute. Okay guys, so here's the Christmas tree that we did yesterday. Also, for those of you that did not see it yesterday, this Christmas tree I didn't build a uh, base, um, like a tree stump uh, trunk, if you will, because this has a purpose. If you look, your company's over, you guys are ready to do your toast or whatever, your Merry Christmas toast, your New Year toast. There's our bottle of wine that we did not have yesterday, but it's kind of concealed and that's why it didn't make a stand because there there's its own little stand there so i think it turned out nice uh monkey's filming and she went to uh get something out of the microwave and i don't know why she just reached in to pull it out burnt two of her fingers so i had to rise her a little bit after i got her all i put some aloe on it and stuff for her but she uh She's always asking me about blowing up, you know. <laughs> like yesterday, she was joking when she left for work. She said, don't blow up because I always blow stuff up or catch something on fire. And I'm like, I won't, you know. And, well, here's a clip of what happened. It wasn't actually an explosion, but check this out. Looks like I got a fire going on here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> wow. I forgot these were laying there. Guys, be careful because I just lit a whole box of matches. <laughs> so that's what happened to me. So she got her fingers all bandaged up, poor girl. I don't know why she just reached in. Oh, so I said, uh -huh, yeah, now who blew up today? <laughs> So, anyway, guys, there you go. Hopefully that was fun for you guys. Um, as much fun as it was for me. Uh, so, I'll give you another look at it. There we go. And it is a wine or champagne cover. So, your desk will come over and they will see that. And they will say, oh, that's all. That's pretty. And then you can say, all right, we're ready for our toast. It, it's not a cooler, it's not a chiller, it's just a cover. 
just to it just looks nice or you can set it flat on the table I think it looks just fine like that you know so or if you copy this idea you can build it you know however you want you can make a base you can uh, put presents under it you, you know just um, take this idea and run with it and if you guys make one of these um, Leave me a link in the comments below so I can check it out. I'd like to see what you, you know, some of your guys' ideas. And so I, I think it turned out pretty good. And I uh, appreciate everyone watching. And I appreciate everyone yesterday who watched uh, my live stream, and especially for those that stuck around the whole two and a half hours altogether. It took two hours to make that. Uh, it can take longer, it can be shorter whatever but you know you're moving the camera around and stuff but yeah uh, it, I think it turned out good for just stuff laying around now that's going to be another video I'm going to have a challenge about that coming up here real soon so anyway guys with that being said or that wine that wine there's for Christmas which I won't drink any I'll probably have you know half a glass to do a toast with them and then they can they can <laughs> have the rest of it and do their thing and I'll just have my NA beers here and uh, so yeah there it is a lot of fun guys and again I wish each and every one of you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year uh, hopefully 2020, 2021 will be uh, more prosperous than 2020 but you know things happen and we can't let it get us down and we just got to keep going you know smile Christmas is here let's enjoy it enjoy ourselves enjoy your loved ones most importantly enjoy your loved ones your children your grandchildren and I hope everyone is happy and safe that's another thing y'all stay safe and uh, be good Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend I'm gone for now again Merry Christmas guys Happy New Year and we'll see you soon Bye-bye and take care.